ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us here in Sam W Properties Facebook. You are now watching the Sam W Property Live Series Episode 5. My name is Kaylee and I'm going to be your host for this fantastic session. And a lot of friends have asked me earlier, what's the intention of Sam W Property doing this live show? Well, the intention of Sam W Property Live is to bring our audience an exciting virtual exploration of Sam W Properties Township in a concise and interactive manner as you stay safe at home and uh, for our title of the day guys in our fifth episode is the uncover the potential of Subang Jaya hashtag 47500 47500 this number is very special for me because uh, I have known it since young 20 years ago and I believe a lot of you here our viewers here must know this number right it is the famous zip code of Subang Jaya. So today, where we are right now is the SJCC Subang Jaya City Center Sales Gallery, uh, which is located at the ground floor of Visma Consplant 2, right opposite or just across the road from Empire Shopping Gallery. And besides having me here together with you, ladies and gentlemen, we'll like you to give a big round of applause to Sean, Malaysia famous property YouTuber. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? This is Sean Tan and uh, shameless plug, uh, I run a YouTube channel about property. Uh, it's I-H-A-R-N-G. Go follow it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, make sure you follow Sean's um, platform because over there you can check out lots of information or insightful sharings about Malaysia property market. Mm. Uh, but back to our topic here today, guys. For today's live video, right, we will be covering Subang Jaya City Centre mm. and one of its most exciting project, which we already know is the lot... 15 service residences and together we shall discover the potential of Subang Jaya. But before that, we would like to say a big thank you to Harvey Norman. Um, thank you so much to Harvey Norman for sponsoring us this very beautiful sofa. Guys, this is a full leather with cross-stitching sofa, handmade work and uh, we have a, a few colours available. And of course, if you're looking for a three-seated, it's available as well. If you're looking for two-seated, it's also available in Harvey Norman. So if you're interested, go to the nearest Harvey Norman near you. Okay, so once again, on behalf of Sam W Properties, we would like to say a big thank you to every one of you. Thank you so much for joining us here on today's live. So, uh, we would like to use this opportunity to reward you guys. We have five sets of Starbucks voucher to be given away and each worth 50 ringgit. And how you can walk away with these prices, simple and easy. Well, I would say that it's the easiest way for you to walk away with something yep. in today's live. Lah, huh? So basically, you just need to like this video and share it to your Facebook account. Then, make sure you set it to the public setting so that we can trace your posting. After you have completed, come back to the comment area, give us a thumbs up, and of course, we will be announcing the winner shortly after five minutes. So five winners will be selected randomly. So hope that you are one of the lucky winners walking away with this Starbucks voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. Okay, so today we are in Subang Jaya. Um, you know what? I actually grew up in Shah Alam. Mm. And in my era at that time, uh, Shah Alam don't have entertainment one. Eh? So if you want to have some entertainment, you have to head to your nearest township, which is Subang Jaya. So, speaking about Subang Jaya is where I spend my teenager's time. I... You are still a teenager, no? No, 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 no. I cannot, I'm, I'm still a young adult, but okay, I'm no longer okay. a teenager. Uh, I have my first love dating in Subang Jaya. Okay. Yeah, so it's a very memorable place for me. So, mm. what about you, Sean? Uh, coincidentally, I didn't know this before the show, uh, I also grew up in Chalam. Taman Stream wouldn't be exact. Mm. So it's right next to Kasas Highway and this is generally where I like what you said, we want action, uh, we want we come to Subang Jaya mm -hmm. because like the malls is immediately so uh, I spent a lot of childhood in Subang Parade, Toy R Us to be exact. So I spent a lot of birthdays there, looking mm. buy, buying Power Rangers there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you know what, speaking about Subang Parade, right? I remember that time when um fit uh, celebrity Fitness open mm. and right opposite it is fitness just first. Fitness First. Right. I was like, wow, I got two gym in this mall and which one I should go yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and besides having these great memories, right? Uh, you know, like last time, we mm. hang out a lot in a 24 hours cafe or restaurant, uh, food court, I would say. You remember which one? Asia Cafe. 
Yeah, but now no more lah. Yeah, generation now they don't know one lah. Yeah. Uh, so that's just where all the teenagers all mm. hang out one lah. Mm. Yep, and uh, of course guys, uh, if you have checked out Subang Jaya before, you know that compared to last time, it has uh, changed very much. Last time we do not have high-rise buildings, last time we do not have uh, a lot of commercial places or yep. buildings. Yep. But yep. 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 here today, we have a lot. And of course, in today's life, we will tell you more about it. And um, you know, last week, right, in our live session mm. uh, at SMW Properties Live, you and another host, which is one <laughs> of my close friends, okay, has actually mentioned that uh, Tamil Malawati was dubbed the Hollywood of Malaysia. Mm. I, okay, I agree with that, but I also would like to tell you that Subang Jaya also have a lot of celebrities. Mm. Okay, we have international star Yuna, is a Subang Jaya girl, and also we have Zofli Zos, actress Zarina Zainuddin, and also the very famous and beautiful chef Anis Nabila. They are all from Subang Jaya. Okay, so next time, if uh, you you would like to, you know, I say you're famous, I say I'm from Subang lah. No lah, you are from Shah Alam. <laughs> ah, but next time when you're famous already, you can say you're from Subang Jaya. Can, can, can. Okay, but uh, Subang Jaya is a really, very good place for us. Uh, it's a very memorable place for us. And I believe that a mm. lot of people here would like to know more about what today we would like to cover in our live session. Mm. So uh, last week in our Sam W Properties Live, we covered Sereni in Tama Malawati tips on maximizing rental yields. So today we would like to do something different, okay? Mm. So today we'll talk about Saitabi Properties most desirable development in Subang Jaya and also its up and coming integrated mixed use development in Subang Jaya city center. So this we are gonna cover later. But before we proceed there, I got a question here. Because I grew up in um, Subang Jaya, I will say that. Mm. Okay, I know a lot about Subang Jaya and I mm. believe that a lot of people do believe that this township is already very mature. Mm. So, when it comes to that, right, are there still any pockets of prime land filled with opportunities available for the future generations? Uh, yes, uh, because of certain infrastructure shifts. Mm -hmm. right? If you look into the existing landscape of Subang Jaya, right, uh, since like 40 years, 50 years ago, it was a very linear township. Linear meaning it's a very it's a very residential. Then you have commercial, right? Then you have the rows of shops. That's about it, right? Then when you have a complex of row of shops, right? That's where we hang out, as mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. Then then you start to see like, eh, no more land really. But last time at Subang Airport, there was a shift where no more international flights. All international flight goes to KIA. Okay. So at that time, uh, I was still hang out in my uncle's place, SS Seventeen. Last time we talk like that, right? Halfway there will be an airplane flying through, and shh, then we need to stop for a while until the airplane flies through. Only we can continue our conversation. Mm -hmm. I still remember those kind of days. Uh, then after that, when they shift that, then you start to see high rises coming up, right? Okay, and now we really see a lot of high rises coming mm -hmm. up in uh, Subang Jaya. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, besides that, right? Um, a wise man have told this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've said this. Um, he said, if you would like to know whether this township is developed or not check out the traffic jam condition. If yes. it's traffic jam, then it means that this township is uh, developed, uh, uh, matured. Mm, mm, meaning it's heavily populated. Like. Yeah. So I think in every Subang person will know the Kawajipan roundabout. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't like that place yeah. last time, but now has changed, right? Correct, correct. So you can even see that the, the municipal behind the township that is backing up. So like the infrastructure that was done 50 years ago, now they are still constantly improving, but there's only so much that you can do. La. So yeah. they will change like two ways into one ways, and you can change. So now, if you look into the row in, a, in, in the same row as Buxton, a Buxton pula, Subang Parade, right? Buxton, well, that just show my age. Really. Yeah, 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 actually that shows your age. But it's okay la, because uh, we are in the same era and I believe a lot of people who are viewing this live uh, do know what we are talking about. So, mm. yes, Subang Parade. Mm. Yes, so Subang Parade, then you can look at the road. Last time, it was empty. Okay. Pure empty because there was a building height restriction. Yep. So now, uh, after the change in the so air routes, then okay. now you can see a lot more potential coming up. Mm -hmm. Not only that, then you can see LRT even built on Subang Jaya already. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's actually quite a surprise for me when I know the uh, LRT will be established yep. in Subang Jaya. Yeah, so that, that, <clears throat> that is a great big changer because 
uh, because of LRT, because of the air routes, because of all the infrastructure, right? Then you now you can see a lot of influx of buildings, right? Where you can see complexes of offices are coming in. Mm. So as a property investor, right, we are very excited when you see office buildings. So because job opportunities directly reflects in rental demands. Mm -hmm. If you have the MNC setting up their companies here, they will need to hire expats, and expats come here, they will look for a place to stay. Mm -hmm. And because expats cannot really own the property for that short period of time, mm -hmm. they will need to pay higher rental. So we can see that becoming a thing, don't mm -hmm. know yet, so later we will look out for more in the videos. Now. Exactly. Mm. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we have mentioned earlier, we would like to tell you more about SJCC. And I believe a lot of you here also very eager to find out more about Subang Jaya City Centre. So here, we would like to take questions from you guys. So if you're interested to find out more about SJCC, do stay, here with us. Do stay with us here until the end of the episode. And if you would like to raise any questions about uh, property market in general, hmm. just post your questions at the comment area because you know we will be selecting uh, some questions later to be answered. Okay, so now guys, uh, we would also like to share you some quick facts about the unassuming but why and dynamic town called Subang Jaya. So here, allow me to share with you. So ladies and gentlemen, do you know that Subang Jaya was a former rubber estate developed by Sun UEP Properties Brahat in the 1970s, which was 40 years ago. And it means that Subang Jaya is already 40 years old plus. Mm. Okay, and almost 80% of the original Subang Jaya is developed by Sam Dabi property. Uh, that actually surprised me because I do not know about this fact, <laughs> but now we found out. Okay, and Subang Jaya, this Madrid master plan township is home to over 700,000 residents currently. And the population projection by MPSJ is expected that Subang Jaya's population will reach 1.5 million people by 2035. So it means that in another 15 years later, we will see uh, wow, more a flip. Yes, <laughs> um, no, I mean, like you can see more people in a mature township, mm. and it means that more opportunities will be created. Mm. Okay, and also Subang Jaya appeared as the top 10 most searched for neighborhood in Malaysia among iproperty.com.my visitors in year 2019. And uh, just like what Sean has mentioned earlier, Subang Jaya will become the third city in Selangor after Shah Alam and Petaling Jaya. And the date of declaration for Subang Jaya City Council will be on 20th October. 2020, mm. a very um, remarkable day for Subang Jaya. Mm. And I believe that with this declaration, it will create more opportunity for our residents here and also our properties owners here. Mm. So here, to give you a new age on uh, Subang Jaya, we would like you to check out this video. So let's check it out together. Straight out of Subang Jaya, a city on fire. Now let's take it higher, but first turn the time on the time. Bring it back to 1976. Sime Darby property with mortar and bricks. Formed a new Gaia for the city, Subang Jaya. Serving up all your heart can desire. From the train station to the KL Towers. A worldwide vibe, a place that empowers. Like a true friend, the city stays connected. Always making way for the unexpected. It's not my thing, sure. Chance of luck, a transformation that'll leave you all struck. Where everybody's on fleek, every day of the week, from top to toe, it's just so unique. Where old turns new on news front page, a whole community who lives off the edge, a muhiba of sorts, with a feeling so warm, a place whose name you can proudly adorn. So come join the family and get in the zone, cause quite so naturally it feels like home. Sini Baru, Dambagaya, Macham Hariraya, Subang Jaya has a new edge. Urban living redefined. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, cool video. Don't go away because we've got more cool stuff here waiting for you. And at the same time, guys, at the previous video, you check out the rap. And speaking about rap, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, a very famous Malaysia rapper, Joe mm. Frizo, actually grew up in Subang Jaya. Cool. Yeah. That's so cool. So, can you rap? 
I wish I can. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, we would also like to take this opportunity to congrats, uh, Joe. Congratulations for uh, your new status. You have married. Congratulations. And by the way, if you are looking for a new crib, you know where to head to. Lah, huh? We are here in Subang Jaya City Centre waiting for you. Sears Gallery here waiting for your arrival. Okay. So, um, okay. Guys. We have come to the second sessions of giveaway now again. Mm. So this session we would like to give away five sets of Starbucks voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. And mm. how you can walk away with this price is very simple and easy. So just now we have told you about the facts about uh, Subang Jaya. So here now, you tell me a fact about Subang Jaya. Okay, we will be selecting the winners randomly. Five winners will be walking away with Starbucks voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. Mm. Okay, so while you are giving us your answer, together yes. with me, I have Sean. Okay, Sean, just now we talk about Subang Jaya. You told us about Subang Parade, where you hang out most last time, mm. where you celebrate uh, your Birthday. birthdays, birthdays yeah, mm. your family occasion. So besides Subang Parade, mm. any place yep. in Subang Jaya that gives you a very memorable memories? Unfortunately, uh, there was one Chinese New Year. I had allergy reaction mm. in uh, uncle's house in SS19. Uh, I was admitted on a Chinese New Year Eve. I was admitted to SJMC. Okay. <laughs> so I spent my Chinese New Year Eve. Everybody, Gong Si Fa Chai, right? I was in the hospital. La. Okay. So, <laughs> so it actually seems that your happy moments and your unhappy moments also happen in Subang Jaya. Mm -hmm. So I would say that Subang Jaya give, uh, when, when you think about Subang Jaya, uh, everything flashback. Mm. Mm. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, right, you also got your tertiary education in Subang Jaya. Yes, I was studying in Taylor's, mm -hmm. the Lakeside campus. And uh, that time, we were still trying to walk over to Sunway side, la, Subang Jaya side. La. But now, got BRT, la, got LRT, la, now... Spoiled lah, students. Last time we need to walk on and take umbrella or... Uh. Yeah, coincidentally, my sibling, my younger sister, mm. also studied in uh, Taylor's. Okay, so that time, right? Okay, I, we know that, okay? <laughs> so that time, right, after, mm. after college, she doesn't want to go home. Yeah, she, she will just, you know, hang out together with her friends at a cafe or she will just go to the McDonald's, continue with her homework or study together with the mm -hmm. uh, friends. So, what about you? After school time, what do you do in Subang Jaya? Uh, I didn't have that privilege, so I was teaching tuition around Subang Jaya. So, after my class, mm -hmm. I was teaching maths. Yes, I'm very hardworking one. I, <laughs> I teach, uh, okay. I conduct home tuition. Uh, uh, so, I was teaching a few You are smart, Wei. You know how to earn money since young. No, desperate, ma. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how, what you do with the money you earn. Mm. Okay, so uh, besides teaching tuition, mm. uh, any place you go hang out together with your friends? Uh, no, the first choice is SF15, mm -hmm. of course, because a lot of uh, other students are there. La. Like you can see, right? Uh, we always hang out in the, what is it called? Asia Cafe, the Cyber Cafe, Kowai. I just forgot. Already. Orange, orange. 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 Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Can we say that? I was there. Oh, so, so we always hang out yeah. the pool centre there after mm. Cyber Cafe, then we go eat uh, Mama, then we go back in, then like whole day, right? There. Yeah. Uh, from day, from, from well, daylight to no daylight. You bring back my memory, way. Why? Um, there's, there was one time where, uh, where someone, yeah, confessed. Someone? Yeah, to me. Che. In Subang Jaya, right in front of the Mama. Out of so many places, they confess to you in Mama. You have not much selection last time, okay? We okay, were okay. we we students that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, of course, guys, <laughs> don't laugh. Okay, we've got to continue with the live sessions already. Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, covered a little bit about Subang Jaya mm. and also our memories in Subang Jaya. I believe we have a lot of Subang night here. So if you have your memories, do you know, tell us by leaving your comments below. Yeah, tell us, uh, you know, where you normally hang out in Subang Jaya last time or where you hang out now in Subang Jaya. Yeah, mm. feel free to leave us a comment. And uh, of course, now it's time for us to find out more about Subang Jaya City Centre. And this, we're going to do it together with Mark in a video. So let's have a look. Hi guys, my name is Mark from Sim Dhabi Property Sales Team. And now you are in Subang Jaya City Centre Sales Gallery. So let me give you an overview of what Subang Jaya City Centre is all about and Subang itself. Uh, Alright, so Subang Jaya City Centre starts from Subang Ria Park, which is a 72-acre park, plenty of green. It goes all the way up through SS16, all the way, as you see, 
way past Empire, all the way to SF19, where you see the big empty plot of land, where you do the big turn. That's all our future development. Uh, currently, the soonest to complete will be Lot 15 over here. Total of 361 units. It's a freehold development that is, will be completing end of next year. Then we also have upcoming integrated developments throughout here and there that uh, we are finalizing, but it will be built in the future lah, under Subang Jaya City Centre. So what is special about Subang Jaya City Centre? What makes it so special? Number one, the connectivity. Now, when you come from Federal Highway, if you're coming from KL, you take the road in, no traffic light whatsoever, no stop sign, you can turn right in. So you are lot 15 right here and you can keep going down to the rest of SJCC. Uh, number two, you have the LRT over here and the KTM station is an interchange station. On top of that, there is a direct sky train all the way to Subang Sky Park that uh, can bring you to Subang Airport for your flights and whatsoever. So it's very good for those who move around a lot. You also have access through here to the NP, New Bandai Expressway and Kersas as well. So it's very convenient, full of highways. Uh, next, we have hospitals as well. Nearby, we have the Subang Jaya Medical Center, only 700 meters away. Uh, on top of that, we also have a lot of education institutions, such as Sri KL, Inti University, only about 1.6 km away, Alpha International College, they're all around. So you're in a very mature township. Uh, besides that, we have offices. So who are some of the target markets that, let's say if you buy a property to rent out, who would be the kind of people that would stay around here? You have the offices right next to Lot 15 is the Messiniaga, IBM building. Uh, you have Wisma Consplant 2, two towers that are already existing. So these are existing offices. And you have the new UOA business park that is connected to the LRT with a direct link bridge that we'll talk about. And it, it's only 500 meters, less than 500 meters from Lot 15 itself. Okay, so on top of all of that, what's great about SJCC is you don't have to worry about food or shopping or anything. We have it all here as well. Uh, Aeon Big for your groceries is 400 meters from Lot 15. We have Subang Parade where you have your F&B retail as well. And we have Empire Shopping Mall. Again, plenty of F&B, plenty of shopping uh, for you to do. Lah. So SJCC in itself is a very matured place that is up and coming and still has more commercial growth to come. So yeah, that's the overview of the place. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here in Saim Dhabi Properties Live Series Episode 5. Okay, you have checked out uh, on the Subang Jaya City Centre, specially brought to you by Mark. And uh, before we tell you more about Subang Jaya City Centre, we would like to give away something to our friends who are watching this fantastic live. Okay, so this time we would like to give away 5 sets of Tea Life voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. So Oof. the question is, Okay, if you know the answer, just leave your answer at the comments area. We will be selecting five winners randomly. So the question is, name me three retail amenities around Subang Jaya City Centre. Okay, three retail amenities we have in Subang Jaya City Centre. What are they? Alright, and of course, um, like what we have mentioned earlier, we know that there are lots of Subang Knights watching this live together with us. And if you have any information to share with us on mm. where to have the best nasi lemak, where to get the best roti canai, which uh, hipster cafe is the best place for you to hang out, tell us because we might go and pay a visit later, right, after these live sessions. Okay, and uh, of course at the same time guys, um, you know what, just now through the video, you know a lot about Subang Jaya City Centre, but nothing will be better than the person come up from the video sitting right in front of you and tell you more about this fantastic place. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it's really my honour to welcome Mark, our senior sales representative from Subang Jaya City Centre to tell us more about Subang Jaya City Centre. Welcome Mark. Hi Sean, hi Kelly. good Hello. to be here. Hi, great to see you here. Okay, just now in the video, you actually mentioned that there are a lot of amenities around Subang Jaya City mm -hmm. Centre and all these are all within walking distance. So, is it true? Well, it depends what you mean by walking distance. But uh, let's say two, 300 meters from lot 15, we have Aeon Big where you can do your groceries. Mm -hmm. 500 meters from lot 15, you have the LRT which can bring you to SS15, to KL Central, wherever you want to go. Okay. And the other 300 meters on the other side from lot 15, you have the Subang Rea Park where you can do your exercise. So, 
to me, that's pretty much walking distance. Mm. Okay, uh, that's quite cool. But you know, like the video were, was a little bit short. Okay, if mm. you would like to find out more about Subang Jaya, I think the best way is ask you personally right here. So maybe you can tell us more about Subang Jaya City Centre, this place. Um, what is this? What kind of development that Sam W Property is doing right now? Over sure, here? sure, sure. So Subang Jaya City Centre, uh, we have 30 acres of freehold land here. And this 30 acres consists of like service apartments which we have built, uh, we have upcoming offices mm -hmm. and retail units as well. So we're actually building this whole integrated the township over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so what we have already built is Isola Residences. I think some of you may know about it. Uh, Lot 15 is completing soon and we also have Aurora along the schedule and mm. we'll keep building from there over the next 10 years. Okay, I actually check out the SJCC's website. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually mentioned uh, SJCC stands on four pillars, uh, the four C. Well, I only know the four C's on men, okay? Uh, cards, la, cash, la, card, cash, uh, what are condos and also this uh, carrot. So for you, mm -hmm. from you, we would like to know what the four pillars, what the four C's talking about in SJCC. Sure, sure. So our four pillars, the four C's, yeah. would be connectivity, community, culture, commerce. Uh, what, is, what do we mean by connectivity? Connectivity, if you see Subang Jaya City Centre, we have an LRT station here. We have several highways that connect to Subang Jaya, the Federal Highway, mm. NPE, Kasas. So you're very well connected, that's connectivity. What do we mean by commerce, which is next? We have the shopping malls, Empire, mm. you have the groceries, Aeon Big, you have all the restaurants. So that's what I mean by commerce. Culture, well, as you know, Subang Jaya has its own little style with the hipster cafes and all that. Mm. So we have that culture going on for us. And finally, but to me most important, is the community. Subang mm. Jaya, if you go to Subang Rea Park, you go for a jog, you can see people actually calling each other by name. Uh, you can see the Subang Jaya, there's a football association and so on. So there's a good sense of community for people who live here. Mm. I see. Okay, and uh, I believe that a lot of you here would like to know more about the amenities we have around SJCC. So let's have a look on this video. Mark is going to bring us to know more about the amenities around Subang Jaya City Centre. Let's go. Straight out of Subang Jaya, a city on fire. Now let's take it higher, but first, turn the time turn on. The time Bring on. it back to 1976. Sime Darby property with mortar and bricks. Formed a new Gaia for the city, Subang Jaya. Hello. Hi, Sean. Mm. Welcome to Subang Jaya City Centre. This is our sales gallery. Okay. I know you love products, but before I bring you into the product we have, okay. let me show you the Subang Jaya experience first. Yeah? Sounds right. good. Shall Let's we? go. Let's go. To the KL Towers, a worldwide vibe, a place that empowers. Like a true friend, the city stays connected. Always making way for the unexpected. It's not my thing, should we? Hi, Sean. So, now welcome to Taman Subang Ria Park. Now, we're here for a reason. Sure, got agenda. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. The agenda is our current launch, Lot 15, is right behind. And so, less than 300 meters away, just a stone throw away, you have this huge lake with fishes inside, with Ooh. a lot of jogging spaces. Uh, it's a nice, nice place to exercise, you know, right behind your doorstep. And mm. can you imagine all this green? Mm. Right next to you, you have all the commercial convenience of SS15, of Empire, of Subang Parade, and SGMC right there as well. <laughs> no, I come to park there, I know you'll go there, right? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. But, I like, but I see a lot of people already, so now it's like, 10, 11 ish really, but you still see people. Yep, still exercising. It's quite an active park, and people seem to know each other here as well. So it's a very community vibe mm, to it. Mm, mm, mm. Correct. So this is the, they call it the Subang Fleur Score, call it the Hotel Street, right? Yes. Uh, so you have all the Western food there as well. Yep, yep. Nice. Of course, if you stay in Lot 15, 300 mm. meter walk. And as I was saying, uh, as I, I would say, recently we went through MCO mm. and so a lot of us were locked up and everyone been going this park craze now, right? Everyone wants yeah. to go out, jog, exercise. Uh -huh. And so imagine if you're at Lot 15, you really learn to treasure something like this where right behind you, you have 300, me I mean, 300 meters away, you have a place to jog, to exercise, to walk, take in the fresh air outside of your house. Mm. Cool. Yeah. You have bird sound, yeah. fish splashing sound, yeah. crocodile farm. But All right. no real crocodile, right? I think so. No, no real crocodile. It's just a restaurant over there. Okay. So where are we now, bro? All right, bro. We are in the Subang Jaya LRT station. Okay. Uh, it Not only does it have an LRT station, it has the KTM as well. 
mm. and there is a direct train the Subang to Subang Sky Park where you can actually fly around Malaysia, uh, Subang Airport, which is operational mm. now. Uh, and it's only less than 500 meters from Lot 15. So you can actually walk here in six, seven minutes. All connectivity cool. in your doorstep. Cool, cool, yeah. nice. And right over there, we have our sales gallery, the colorful building you see. Yeah, just there anyway. Yes, so that's our sales gallery, uh. and Lot 15 is on the other side. Okay. So between that sales gallery and Lot 15, we have this big plot of empty land. Uh. Uh, this is actually a good growth potential for those who buy here because all this empty land. land, yes, all time W. So we control the quality and the type of product mix that comes into play. It's going to be commercial, so you're going to have more commercial stuff coming along, mm. more offices and all that. It's going to be more lively. Lah, I think that also balance off the building in the opposite, right? What building is yes, that? Yes, that is the UOA Business Park. So okay. you have one, two, three, four, five, six office towers of just potential tenants ready for you, linked by a bridge. They mm. can walk through the bridge to the LRT. From okay. the LRT, another six minutes to Lot 15. 10 to 15 minutes you can get to work. Sure, they'll want to consider Lot 15, I think. Mm. Plus, you have all the malls here. La. So, I see Subang yeah. Parade. Yeah, this is where we go Toys R Us last time. <laughs> <laughs> Subang Parade, Aeon Big for the groceries. Mm. Yeah, very mm. convenient. All on the same stretch. Uh, yeah. Like, Aeon Big is only 300 meters from Lot 15. Very near. nice. Nice. Mm. Cool. Yeah. So, shall we? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Like a true friend, the city stays connected Always making way for the unexpected It's not my thing, Shui Chance of luck A transformation that'll leave you all struck Where everybody's on fleek Every day of the week From top to toe It's just so unique Where all turns okay, new so on What about SS15 bro? Okay, so SS15 is actually Pretty well organised And I think very good density Over mm. there you have all the landed houses uh, not no high rise or whatsoever No commercial right? Mm. Then you turn on that side You have the SS15 shop lots Famous oh. for your you know, Bubble tea, shisha joints, whatever <laughs> you ah. know, Colleges, it's all there then so yeah, the, the high rises. So the colleges here is like uh, Inti yep. and then uh, oh. Inti, then you have the school as well, Street KL. Uh, the wet market school. is there also. Mm, wet market. Oh, the Makan place. You can't go wrong lah. Plenty of variety. Always crowded. All these, you can see all the shops. Not bad lah. And with this new LRT, right, it's really very convenient. One stop from Lot 15, the Subang Jaya station. You know, I need to walk. Right. <laughs> Nice. Okay, bro. Where are All we right. now? Okay, so we've got out of the LRT. Okay. Steps away. We are here is a courtyard, SS15, where you can get all your brands, you know, your franchises. I uh, see yeah. Nati Nuri, I see Texas Chicken. Correct. Plenty of franchise variety. you got your modern Subang Jaya. But what's great about SS15 is not only you have your modern part, mm. but you also have the local variety and twist. So let's get there now. Yeah, look, experience that it. I'm more interested in that one. Uh. Let's try that. Me, that. Bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> all right. Okay, Sean. Okay. Time to experience some local culture, some good classic Malaysian food in Subang. Okay. Here we have Rojak SS15. Let's go try it. Where all turns new on news front page. A whole community who lives off the edge of Muhiba of sorts. With the feeling so warm, a place whose name you can proudly adorn. So come join the family and get in the zone. Cause quite so naturally it feels like home. Sini Baru, Dambagaya, Macham Hari Raya, Subang Jaya has a new edge. Alright, Sean. So we had our rojak, our chendol. Nice. Now, week. what else is SS15 about besides food? So here you are. Education. In tea. Oh, okay, okay. So they have colleges and all that as well. So mm. it's a very lively place, right? And we used to have tailors here as well and all that. Mm. And it used to be a very education hub. And now it's growing. It's also becoming a business hub. Mm. Uh, and it has been as well. Uh, there's banks and all that. But more and more commercial continue to open up here. More restaurants, more F&B. So SS15 SS is still there. It's still growing. Cool. So this one is like a five minute drive. Yeah, right, that is uh, like AJCC. Eh? Right there, can you see that's Casa Tiara right next to AJCC? Uh. So it's very close by. Mm. Stone's throw away, you can come to SS15. Yeah. So here you basically get a lot of things. Right? So you look at the mm. office profiles, right? you have all the consultancy, all the yeah. fashion, all the nails, right? Mm. Then you have all the stationery shops, art yeah. shops, cafes, yeah. makan, minum, all lah. Semua mm. pun ada lah, belaka, yeah. belaka, semua pun ada. <laughs> Final destination. Yep, Sean, we are at the final destination. Mm. Uh, we've gone to 
SS15, we've gone to Subang Ria Park, we've seen the green, we've seen the shops, we've seen the education. But last but not least, mm. we are back to SS16 where SJCC is. And one of the most staple places we must stop by is the Empire Shopping Mall. Cool, cool. So basically yeah. here you got like almost everything really low. You got tell you list out, right? Yep. Oh, also not easy, right? So I guess that's all for today, right? Yeah, that's all for today. Shall we head back to the gallery? Yep. Get to your favorite product part. Yes! <laughs> Alright guys, before we continue with the conversations right here together with Sean and Mark, we would like to remind you that we would like to take a few questions from you guys. So if you would like to raise any questions to Mark about Subang Jaya City Centre, or if you would like to raise a few questions to Sean about the property market in Malaysia, feel free to do so uh, because we will be selecting a few questions later and answer to your questions. Okay, and now before we proceed, Let's do another round of giveaway. This round of giveaway, I would like to give away five sets of Tea Life voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. Oh, that's Wala. not a bubble tea. Mm, <laughs> you not only can enjoy it for yourself, um, you can also buy it for your colleagues or your family oh, members. Me. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, five sets of Tea Life voucher, each worth 50 ringgit. And how you can walk these away, very simple and easy. Share with us on this one what you like the most about SJCC amenities and why okay what you like most about the SJCC amenities uh, in the tour video that you have catch earlier and why do you like it tell us we'll randomly select five winners and you gonna get one this amazing tea life voucher and it's worth 50 ringgit okay mm. so uh very shocked huh? Very happy, oh, went mm. for the tour. Uh, enjoy your mini Subang Jaya Chuti Chuti mm. with yeah. your loved one, which is Mark. No, no, <laughs> what is this? Okay. <laughs> because but, but, you never bring me along. Mark, why you bring Sean but not me? Too bad, lah. question. <laughs> hey, and somehow you enjoy the best um, Roja in town, I would say. The Delicious. Sesh, yes, the SS15 Roja is the best way. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's very surprising they upgraded way. Last time it's like a bus stop kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it was a truck. Then uh, we move to uh, the shop now. Oh, that's like, well, I cannot find when we go there. Eh, they eh, turn down already. I know uh, op open shop lot. Wow. Corner shop. Uh, uh, really different already. Uh. Mm. Okay, so um, you know, like it's a very interesting video, and uh, we have talked a lot about the amenities around Subang Jaya City Centre. So mm. right here, I would like to ask. Mark, because just mm -hmm. now in the video, we saw a building, a very new building, mm -hmm. look very stylish, very vibrant, and it's located right next to an RT station. What building is that? Okay, that's our upcoming sales gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be completed sometime next month. So get ready, we're going to have a new show unit that you can go and see for uh, one of our newer projects. A new project? Huh? Yeah, we have a new project. Check out the sales gallery when it's ready. Okay, and uh, we will check it out later. But okay. here, I got another question. To Sean. Yes. Sean, you know la, like what you have mentioned earlier, you check out 300 over properties every year. So, I would like to know um, about this one. Your mm. point of view about the amenities we have in SJCC. What do you think about it? Uh, so, <clears throat> yes, I have visited and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> 300 over, not everyone can say that, right? Uh, but coming back, right, uh, I think this is a fringe between the old and new la. like mm. like Subang Jaya in that address right basically everything you need is there already and then so rarely you have this 30, 30 acres right so. yeah 30 acres 30 acres of freehold land right sandwiched between the LRT and SS15 so you have population one side you have connectivity one side and then you are in the center there because this piece of land last time, again, because of the change of route of the flights, international flight, ma. Mm -hmm. so there was a building restriction. That's why this piece of lands are not deemed as valuable. But suddenly, that's why it's very exciting for me personally to see how infrastructure can really change the dynamic of a particular location. Yeah. So like, you add in one new LRT, right? Whoa, everything changed really. Mm -hmm. Because now to KL Central, right, last time only... Our only hope was KTM. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, nothing, no, Mark, no, why no. are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nothing bad about KTM, but now, okay. but now you have the LRT, right? Then mm. you, have, you can even walk over to the UOA buildings, the, yes. all the office buildings, right? So, with that, then change the whole landscape. Now you can even take train around. Then you have the BRT somewhere. 
Mm. I took the BRT personally. I loved it. Uh, so the connectivity just enhances the value of a particular land and you bring the convenience. And when you have convenience in one township, the uh, the price of the property will also goes up, right? The right. ROI is also higher. And another cool mm. fact, right? Just to show that I got Liao one, I got I, I got I got my knowledge one. It's a uh, do you know that MB and MP is different? You mean MB and MP on what? Man, Majlis Bandaraya and mm -hmm. Majlis Perbandaran is different. So Majlis Perbandaran is for a uh, township that has more population and bigger land size and things like that. Mm -hmm. So when we submit for drawings, for submission, right, for approvals and things like that, we need to know like is it for MB or for MP. So Subang Jaya is MPSJ. Okay. So it's a atas rank. They, they have a higher authority. No, they have uh, a higher sophistication. Mm. Oh, okay, I see. Mm. All right, so uh, thank you, Sean, for sharing. <laughs> yes, on this uh, knowledge, and of course, guys, um, you know we have shared a lot about Subang Jaya City Center and mm. also the amenities we have around Subang Jaya City Center. But I also know that there is one very exciting project known as Lot Fifteen Service Residence in Subang Jaya City Center right now. Mm. Mark, tell us about it, Lot Fifteen. Sure, what is that? sure. Okay, so Lot Fifteen. It's a low density service apartment mm -hmm. in Subang Jaya with only 361 units of residence and six units of retail. So it's really low density. You very hard to find a project like that now. You know, most mm. condos are much more <laughs> higher density. Uh, what else? Well, we have a two point. We're built on a 2.23 acre freehold plot of land. Uh, mm -hmm. And besides that, we have two towers in lot 15. Uh, each floor has eight to ten units in the towers. Yep. Okay, and you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you talk about um, condominiums, one of the very important points will be some view, the scenery view. So any, mm -hmm. any place in uh, this uh, Lot 15, we can catch the best view of Subang Jaya. Yep, so that uh, in, in our amenities, right, we have sky gardens. We have six sky gardens where you can actually catch the views of everything uh, of Subang Jaya. We have one side facing Subang, SS15 side, the other side will be facing towards Glen Mary. Okay. Mm. Alright, so maybe Mark, you can repeat one more time. How many towers <laughs> we have there? We have two towers. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. how many garden we have? Per tower. Yeah, sky garden we have per tower. Three sky gardens per tower. Also, oh, we got two towers, means that we got how many sky gardens? Uh? Six sky gardens. Six sky gardens. Okay, I got to remember <laughs> this. Okay. Alright, All right, um, now... <laughs> Okay, it's the time for us to check out the Lot 15 uh, show unit. And uh, guys, this time besides having Mark together with us in this video, we're also going to see Sean in the video. Uh, yes, one of his uh, 300 properties that have visited in the year. Okay. So let's go, let's check out the Lot 15. Alright, Sean, welcome yes. to our show unit. Finally. Yes. Whoa. Mm. So... Let me explain to you what we provide here. Okay. Uh, first part, where you're in, that's actually the kitchen. Mm. We provide the kitchen cabinets all around with the hood and hop. And this island you see right here as well. So all done up. Yeah, yeah, the island as well. Same quality, same material finishing. Uh, the flooring's the same. We use Niro granite tiles. Cool. So it's very high spec. And then what's special about this unit? Sorry, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no problem. The uncle what? thing about me. All these are provided. Uh, the cabinets, yes. The cabinets. Mm. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. I think the appreciation to islands, right? Mm. The people don't know how inconvenient the piping if you want to do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Niro Granite House, as I mentioned, exactly mm. the way you see it here. Uh, and what's special about this is you have your dining and living next to each other. So you get this white feel. More like a bungalow style versus a terrace where it's long and narrow. You mm. get this white feel. So it's very spacious. Everything's very open. How big is this unit? Uh, this is 937 square feet. Nine two plus one bedroom. Two plus one bedroom. Because mm. at a 900 over square feet, it's very mm. rare you get a layout like uh, a horizontal layout. Yep, horizontal layout. Uh, Usually it's those big, big units that you actually get this kind of yeah. feel. Usually it's uh, a very straight, vertical yeah. type. Not only that, uh, what mm. else is special about this uh, mm. is your walls uh, in this layout uh, doesn't touch any of your neighbors. Uh. So it's almost like a bungalow in the sky, you know? Your walls are, it's all untouched. So it's a lot of privacy. Yeah, so the, like, the living experience and the dining experience is actually together. Yeah. <laughs> Where your mother can scream at you, la, on the TV and eat dinner. La. <laughs> right. yes, so so yes. from this wall to that wall, is, it's 20 feet. 
900 over square feet, you get this kind of space is, wow. So that results in your windows being very big as well. Yep, wide windows, your whole mm. eye level will be covered. Nice. And they're quite uh, well soundproof as well with mm. uh, laminated windows. Lah. So mm. this is the plus one? Lah, right? Yeah, this is the plus one. It doesn't come with the door, okay. but you have this space to make a study for yourself. This will most probably be my YouTube studio. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can do that. Oh, my kids' playroom. Kids right, play room. cool. Yeah, yeah. So Sean, let's get to the bedrooms and bathroom side of things. Mm. This is the second bathroom. What you see is basically what you get. We use Toto brand for everything. Toto? Yep, yep. Top spec. Phew. Yeah, Even the shower space, you got your soap and shampoo area nice. ready. Very rare you get that kind of material, I think. Whoa. I think the game way, Toto. <laughs> hey, Toto is the brand of the toiletries, huh? not we go in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So all these are provided, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. So so things you need to look out for, like when you go to a show gallery, mm. uh, bidet, tissue roll holder, right? So it's a big a habit to check what specs, and usually, like them, they will tell you what they're providing, Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this is the second bedroom. We use engineered timber flooring. Nice. Everything the way you see here, and then the windows, large windows as well, even for the second bedroom. Uh, the windows look out to your view, whichever you choose. Mm. So, how, which direction do we have? Uh, we have north or south for okay. this layout. So, you can either face towards Glen Mary, the KJNS golf course and all that. Mm. Or south, you can face SS15. Or the housing area. Housing area, housing area yes. Unblock, either way, it's unblocked view. Which is very rare for such a good location. Condo. Nice. So, this is a queen size bed. Yep. So, we check for circulation space. Ceiling height, bro? Uh, 10 feet. Comes mm. with the aircon as well. Aircon also don't need to install. Nice. Mm. <laughs> okay. This one. Okay, so this is the master bedroom. Yep. Master bedroom. King size bed. Whoa. After and you can fit two side tables. <laughs> after you book king size bed, whoa. Yep. Four. So if you were a queen, you have so much extra space here. <laughs> don't want to show the scale, right? So this is how big it is, you mm. 900 over square feet. Yeah, 900 over square feet. But I like it how the layout is very horizontal, very long. It's not yeah. very deep. Not right? deep. Yeah. So why we do that is then you get a lot of window space, you know. So mm. all, every room, if you notice, have like wide windows where you just get a lot of natural light and that just changes the space. Like it makes right. a 900 over square feet unit feel like 1,000 Bigger. over square feet. Yeah. Okay, so the favourite space of all, so this would be my wife's wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> all of the un right mm. so all okay. will be but this one is the open type you can also do type. and close or yeah. whatever yeah, uh, uh, brochure actually we show an L shape you could do an L shape wardrobe here as well depends how you want to design it and this is the bathroom Sim whoa this one got doors or more yep glass door rain shower all included all included yep so you get this same glass door a rain shower again the solid mm. granite material so what I really like is that plus one, right? Mm. Suddenly adds up a lot of uh, possibility to what you can do. Yep, yep. And so uh, for normal conventional, as we mentioned again, I keep mentioning the horizontalness of the, if there's such a word, uh, <laughs> horizontalness of the layout. Uh, really, when the unit is sh shorter in depth, mm. it gives more space for daylight to actually shine in. Correct. Right. The, the same idea why semi-Ds are more valued than a terrace house mm, or why bungalows are more valued than a semi-D because then you have more window space, more yeah, natural lighting right. and that yeah, makes right. the difference in the space. This unit got yard? Ah. Yeah, over there. That will be the yard space. Uh, it won't be a full wall like this, it'll be vent block tops where mm. sunlight can come in and air. Lah. So ah. at least I know where I put my washing machine. Lah. Yes, you correct. You got space for laundry, lah, washer, mm. dryer. Because you know it's going to be always the kitchen area. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Very good, very good. Okay, so this is the one plus one, six to four square feet room. This is fire rated timber door. Fire rated timber door. Nice. Yes. It comes with the kitchen. So uh, this is the one that you tell me it's the hot selling one. Uh? Yep, hot selling. And the prices start from about five forty onwards. So it's not too five bad. Five super forty. Yes, but we only have about seven, eight units left. Lah. So it's very few units left. So this one, it's a more direct layout, right? You have mm. your kitchen here. Yep. 
ceiling height the same. Uh, then we have everything. So it's you know, pretty standard. Yep. Eh? Standard. Oh. This is a special one. Uh. Yep. So this is a sliding door oh. to your bedroom. Whoa. So we use sliding door so that you have a more spacious feel. Mm. From your bedroom, you can watch your TV. <laughs> Mm. Uh, this is a king size bed, so not many one bedrooms can actually fit a whole king size bed with two side tables, uh, engineered table flooring, okay. mm. same as the other unit lah. Correct. Mm. And Plenty of wardrobe space. The plus one, right? This is a one plus one unit. What's yep. the size? Uh, six two four square feet. Cool. Yeah, one plus one. Aircon provided. Aircon provided. Yes. My uncle always asks aircon <laughs> provided. No? So yeah. this is the wardrobe space. Yep. Plenty of wardrobe space lah. More than you can handle lah. More than eight. Nice. Mm. It's the bathroom. So it's similar to the one before? Yep. So you get your glass bathroom door, your rain shower, your mirror, or your total finishing house to the ceiling. It's as usual. This one not enough, you know, you must have this one so. Mm. <laughs> then only hotel standard now. Mm. Yeah, like <laughs> this one really furnished. Like. And I always appreciate the mirrors, the full mirror. Mm. So you have a sliding door here. For the plus one, yeah, and then this is the plus one, be another room as well. Oh, for baby or kids, yeah, this this works very well as a baby's room, right? Mm, yeah, so imagine good. a young couple just got a baby, don't want to be too far, but one separation, this mm. perfect, can run over and mm. baby cry. <laughs> yeah, nice though. Mm. This is no, no, this is just a suggestion. This uh. won't be here, this is a suggestion, so this will be open. Mm. Uh, it's up to you lah. What, if you're at, what kind of door do you want to add? Do you just want to put a full wall? Uh, it depends mm. on you. Mm. But you have the option. And the kitchen cabinets will be included with the hood and hop. But it's up to here lah. Mm. Uh, so it's actually more than spacious enough lah. You already got the L shape lah. There's no need for this section lah. So instead of having this, we open it up. Then you got more space also. It'll feel even more spacious than this. Mm. Then you can fit your dining set. Yes, here. bigger dining set and so on. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. So I guess that's all. Yep, that's uh, I only remember one thing, the price only, right? <laughs> <laughs> attractive way. So Comes with two car parks side by side. Two car parks side by side. For a one plus one room. Which is very important because a lot of people, husband, mm. wife, one car each. Correct. And they only get one car park. How do you manage? Mm. And, and, and I think for the audience, it's a one, the two side by side means it's like that. Mm. Because always they provide tandem. tandem yeah. And some they sell it as two car parks as well. So mm. this one, need to show some love for this kind of thing. Yep. Cool. Thanks, right. man. Yep. Well, it seems that you can achieve urban and vibrant lifestyle here in Lot 15. Well, uh, I think we missed out one point. A, a very interesting question that I would like to raise here. Mm -hmm. Mark, can you please tell me when is the completion date for Lot 15? Okay, Lot 15 will be completed end of next year. So it's, wow, not long from now, though. No, very soon. Okay. It's so kanchong, I want to buy it. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to move in with you. Okay, because yeah. um, I, I actually quite interest uh, that on Subang Chaya City Centre. So later we can discuss more about it okay, sure, after sure, this sure. session. PM the P. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, how many percent have been sold? Okay, so for lot 15, right, our take up rate is already 90%. So if you are interested, okay. get ready because. We don't have many units left <laughs> for Gee, lot 15. Wow. <laughs> wow. So you have to act quick way. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we discuss it later because mm -hmm. right now I would like to give away some prices first. Okay, guys, we have come to another round of giveaway. And this round, we would like to give away Harvey Norman Voucher 100 Ringgit H. Got to give away five sets. And uh, how you can walk away with this, very simple and easy. You have checked out the previous video. It's about our show unit in lot 15. Now you tell me. How many show you need that we have present in the previous video and what are the size of these uh, show units? Okay, so basically we need to give you two answers. Um, how many show units we have present in lot, uh, lot 15 at the previous video and oh, what are the size of these? Yeah. Mm. I almost know <laughs> the answer. <laughs> okay. okay. So you know the answer. Yeah, tell us the correct answer uh, because you might be walking away with the 100 ringgit Harvey Norman vouchers. Five sets to be given away. Okay, okay. so a uh, quick recap about what happened today. Uh, we have talked about the hidden gems about, uh, in Subang Jaya. We have shared you our childhood memories mm. in Subang Jaya. We have told you about the facts 
of Subang Jaya is 40 years old, but I believe that it's still considered a very young township. Uh, so if you think that it's time for you to you know make some investment here on property at Subang Jaya City Centre, feel free to ask for more information. Uh, of course, Subang Jaya City Centre has lots of amenities around it and we have also covered it earlier. But one thing we have not covered, which is the very exciting project, the Lot 15. Mm -hmm. We have talked about the show unit, but we have not touched the facilities. Because when it comes to condominiums, right, mm -hmm. facilities is the key element that, yep. um, that attracts people to buy it. So mm -hmm. Mark, maybe you can tell me about the facilities in Lot 15. Sure. We have a half Olympic length infinity pool facing out towards Subang Rea Park. And we also have a gym overlooking that pool. Uh, besides that, we have the six sky gardens I told you about earlier. <laughs> six <laughs> uh, sky gardens. With the gardens. nice views. Wow. We have jacuzzis, saunas, uh, and you know the standard facilities you have in a nice condominium. Mm. Whoa, yeah. okay. So now, Sean, maybe from your point of view, you can tell us more about how facilities can uh, attract buyers and how facilities can influence the price of the property. Facilities affects the price. Uh, I think uh, in the I think like we answered last week, right? Uh, the standard compliance for condos now, I think it's pretty standard. Like you have your uh, swimming pool, uh, your gym, and all, uh, right? Mm -hmm. But what is very different is when you buy a particular project for the location, or you buy the particular project for the amenities, mm -hmm. or you will buy the pro uh, project for the facilities. It's very different. True. I see. So so some some projects where you just go right like the entire deck of facilities like on steroids right? so you just wow like that one then some is like hey i'm not buying this for facilities but i'm buying in the location so it's a very different mindset okay mm. so now okay mark has mentioned that we got 90 percent sold out mm -hmm. uh, only 10 percent left so a question for mark since we got 90 percent sold out so we must understand our purchaser portfolio very well so who are the buyers for the lot 15 can you please share with us yeah sure okay so some of the bigger buyer groups that uh, have bought mm. would be the young uh, couples and new bachelors who are just starting out with work and they just want a nice place near their parents so in mm. Subang Jaya we also have some parents buying for their kids because they want to make sure their kids stay nearby but want to <laughs> kick them out of the house <laughs> yeah, get out you know, have your own place uh, we also have those uh, parents who are downgrading from landed they want better security their kids have grown up downsizing downsizing mm. yes downsizing sorry, not, uh, to the, mm. a condo instead of a mm. like, big landed property yeah, yeah, right yeah. and then you have some investors as well because the rental yield in Subang is pretty good so it's caught some people's attention but not too many uh, mm. then besides that we have the SGMC staff and doctors because it's pretty nearby and so Lot 15 has also caught their eye uh, being close to work I think that day during the visit we were going to take the LRT ma. so in the LRT station there we saw because as an investor I, I like to see who are living around so the community there right I saw some Ang Mo la, I saw some uh, Mark Salis expats expats Ang Mo I saw some expats right so expats to investors right because that's how we also like evaluate a certain location. Mm. Like why I why we like KL Central, KLCC, Mong Kiaras, right? Mm. It's because of expats. So when expats but particularly uh, reside in a location, they will usually rent. And mm. that results in a very high uh, rental, rental income. Yield, yeah. mm. So uh, because on a normal mindset of an old Subang boy, you see I expect won't come on. But then now with the new LRT station, the new office towers Things might be different and uh, no clarity yet, mm -hmm. but I'm uh, we're feeling it uh, So because I think Mark also shared like I Isola yeah. also in Isola residence we saw some Chinese, some Japanese, uh, uh. quite a few expats actually renting there. Yeah, no? mm. Okay, so guys, these might be a tip specially brought to you by Sean. Yeah, so take notes on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so now we have come to another round of giveaway. Uh, this round we like to give away five sets of Harvey Normal voucher, each worth one hundred ringgit. So, in order for you to walk away with this, very simple and easy. Give me the correct answer. The question is, tell us, how many sky gardens do we have in <laughs> lot 15? So, how many sky gardens do we have in lot 15? Uh, so, we got two towers. One tower's got three. So, you do your math slow. Tell me how many we have. And if you are lucky, congratulations, you walk away with a Harvey Norman 100 ringgit voucher. Okay? Mm. So, um, guys, once again, on behalf of Sime Derby Property, we'd like to say a big thank you to some of you because uh, of your questions. Uh, we have, you know, 
we have got a very beautiful day here because with these questions, right, I believe that it can actually make us uh, to be very interactive, a session very interactive together with you. So here without further ado, it's time for me to read out some questions and allow our friends here to answer to your questions. Mm. Okay, so we have the first question here. Mm, the question is, Hi, I have been thinking about investing in high-rise project but have seen news and hear people that they are oversupply right now in this category. So is it worth it to invest on high-rise in Subajaya right now? So I think, uh, Mark, you can answer this question. Sure. Uh, well, if you look at the economics of everything, uh, same thing with property, right? It's all about supply and demand. And so for Subang Jaya itself, if you look at the developments here, a lot of it is landed. Actually, mm. You can see it's all very flat. Because like you said last time, mm. you couldn't develop high rises, yeah. right? So we have a lack of supply of high rises now. Uh, but a lot of demand because a lot of offices are here. A lot of people are coming over. We're becoming a city, right? So uh, because of that, the high demand and lack of supply uh, I don't think you will have a problem with high rises in Subang Jaya, especially because we are developing very low density high rises, mm -hmm. like lot 15 with 361 units. Uh, compared to certain other areas, you have a lot more high rises. <laughs> Here, you don't have that issue for sure. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mark, for answering the questions. Mm. Uh, we hope we have answered your questions. Okay, now we come to question number two. So, um, hi, Sean. So, very <laughs> obvious, refer to you, lah. Huh? Thank you. Thank hi, you. Sean. So, do you think lot 15 is fairly priced? I have been comparing a few projects but just can't seem to make my decision. So Shan, what? what do you think? Wow, this one wanna high war. I want to put me in a very okay. Uh is it fairly priced? My take is uh okay. Put some context to it. Lah. Mm. If you grow up with Subang Jaya, right? I grew up with Subang Jaya, so the old price of Subang Jaya has locked into my head. Right, last time landed uh, 200,000, 300,000, right? Uh, back so, in long time ago. Uh, long time ago, <laughs> la, long time ago. Very la. So, long time ago. So we have reached that ceiling price. So, so to me, it's that higher side. La. But mm. then if you look into how KL also broke 1,000 per square feet uh, 10 years back, 7 years back, right? Mm -hmm. When we just broke 1,000 per square feet, everybody like, what? I think, I think that will also uh, happen in Subang Jaya because of several things. La. Number one is the infrastructure. La. You can see the municipal is always pushing and it's not easy to get an LRT track into a city. La. So mm. it's already a self-sustaining town, not township yet, town. But then now you connect it with LRT some more, then wow, exciting thing is going to happen. La. Then due to the change of routes of the airlines, then suddenly a not so important land becomes prime land. Okay. So, so it, it really last time, nobody hangs out here and all hang out the SS19 side, SS15 side. But now this is all across SS15. So, population is there, connectivity is there. Mm. So now it's to really like leverage on it. La. So, is it fairly priced? I think it's on the higher side of things. But there's a lot of reasoning to back that high price. La. And 90% sold, no joke. Eh. Yep, 90% sold. So, people do accept the price. They see the potential and they know that Subang Jaya is now a city. Okay, la. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this question will well, put me in trouble. Nish. Okay, never mind. Welcome to the third question. Okay, will Lot 15 really benefit from the overall future plans of SJCC? I think this question also referred to you, Lashon. Uh, as okay, mentioned, I think. You, you will be the best person to answer. Uh, like, again, also, I've witnessed the trans That's why I'm very obsessed with real estate and uh, township development. Uh. Like you build very linear, residential, then commercial, then mixed development, then office tower, then shopping malls. Then now you can see LRT coming in. I think that LRT is the biggest point for me. Mm. So because LRT straight away come in, right? Then you can see the lifestyle of people will change. Right? So that door-to-door -door experience yeah. will change. So like now people will walk to an LRT to go SS15. Yeah. If without the LRT, right, whatever that is within this SJCC, right, then you will be only Empire Subang Parade. It's a lot already, la, but it's not that convenient. So, so the LRT, to me, is the biggest game changer. Then when you connect to the Sunway side, then you've got the BRT connect you to the USJ21 side. Ayah. So basically, it's well connected, very convenient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like, it's good that the government is even backing you up. So now the what? The, is city status really? 
Mm. Uh, that's why Mark is getting all the benefit. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do think so. Okay, um, that's, uh, that's all the questions uh, that we have on hand. Thank you mm. so much, gentlemen. Mm. And once again, on behalf of Summit Properties, we'd like to say a big thank you to our friends who have raised the questions. Thank you so much. And if you have more questions about SJCC, you know what is the best thing for you to do and get your question answered is to come over here to the SJCC Sales Gallery. Okay? Well, oh, don't go away yet because we still have lots of wonderful things to share with you, like this one. And then a round of giveaway. Okay, guys, this round we got five Lazada vouchers to be given away and each worth 100 ringgit. So, how you can walk away with this is by answering this question. Huh? The question is Can you please tell me the nearest airport to Subang Jaya City Center? What is the name of the nearest airport to? Subang Jaya City Center. I know you're gonna type Subang Airport. Please don't do that. We don't accept that answer. Okay, we want a full answer. Subang Airport. Actually, I do call it Subang Airport. You know, but uh, there's a name for this Subang Airport. Yeah. I think for yeah. I have no clue. Really? Because you often call it Subang Airport. Okay, tell us the correct answer. If you do not know the answer, no worries. You can go Google. Okay, we are waiting for your answers. You might walk away with the Lazada voucher, each worth 100 ringgit. We've got five to be given away. Okay, so now, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to, we ha have almost come to the end of our sessions. But before that, any shout out from Mark about Lot 15 or SJCC to our friends here? Okay, so for Lot 15, we are still running our 18 month installment package, which ends tomorrow. So that's very soon. So yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, we are also moving to a new sales gallery in August which will not have a Lot 15 show in it. So if you are interested in Lot 15, I highly recommend you come by as soon as possible because you, this is your last chance to see the show in it in Lot 15. Mm -hmm. It's going to be gone after this month. We're moving to a new uh, gallery. Uh, so take advantage of that. Give me a call. Look for me. I'll be here. <laughs> okay, thank you Mark. And of course, uh, to our winners, congratulations to you. And please check your Facebook Messenger as we have sent you the price fulfillment and delivery. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, a conclusion to what Mark has shared earlier. So ladies and gentlemen, your installment on Earth package with 18 months loan installment on Sam Dabi property will deal on tomorrow, which is uh, 5th of July. So mm. if you are interested on the lot 15, come over here to the Subang Jaya city center sales gallery right now mark will be waiting for you to tell you more about it and also this is the last chance for you to experience the lot 15 show unit before we move to the new sales gallery end of this month mm. so if you want to sento 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 tengo tengo uh, come over here to the gallery right now okay and uh, drop by soon you can also call us for appointment yes we wait for your call and together with that, a lot of people have um, have known about this. Yeah, do know that the HOC home ownership campaign has come has come back. So yep. if you would like to leverage the home ownership campaign by the government, now is the best time for you to buy. If you are looking for a personalized tour on lot 15, this is the number that you should call. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So once again, on behalf of Sam W Property, we appreciate your. Uh, time we appreciate your support uh, for today's live and of course if you would like to you know find out more about Sam Tabi Property <coughs> project you can actually check us out on uh, our you know Facebook because we always post our latest update over there and uh, thank you so much uh, we hope that you have a great week ahead see you in the near future stay safe bye <laughs>